Hello friends, welcome back to Fallout 4 with your host Ron with the Ball. We are on the way Having to Fort Strong. The airport keeps the brotherhood within this place I have uh, taken out once before. I almost opened fire on those guys until I realized there was power armor. Alright, so Fort Strong. Right here. Uh, it's a bunch of super mutants. Um, I created it before, but it, I couldn't get the uh, Fat Man stash because I did Start not have. I'll try and keep him in your sight. Killed a superhuman behemoth. Oh, I want to fight it on foot! Got him. Primary target down. Look at that thing, please. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Pridwin for repair. Well, it's definitely a little more exciting than the first time I came out here. Not any harder or anything, but... Actually, it's probably going to be easier with my... Oh, I only got... Oh, I only have 28 rounds. Not good. Alright, we got to go... We got to go shotgun time. Alright, this should be pretty... Pretty quick, I'm thinking. not expect this to be a long a long nice. series before I get their help but Dude, you gonna be okay? It's only I'll let him deal with that one at the door. I'll take out the rest of them. Yep, because they are set to the level of that I was when I first came in here. Ooh, nice. Okay, I guess I'm not... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I tried to... <laughs> I paused the... Uh, all right, I... Through it could prove beneficial. Uh, I, I, you know, turned the audio off for a second to sneeze, and then I didn't sneeze, and then... It snuck up on me really fast. All right, so we're just going down the elevator. No room dance, sorry. Oh man, no wedgie. Yank him up by his valve.
Yeah, keep up, man. Keep up. Ooh, what the hell is that? Lowy mutant hound. Huh? What's someone there? Yeah, must have been nothing. A core? A noise? Thought there might be a core there. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for your help, man. Thank you so much. Judging from the amount of dust present, it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. Like this mini nuke? <laughs> well, that's cool. Can you imagine these weapons in the hands of those super mutants? Hold on, that was just the way around, wasn't it? Yep. So this is the nukes. So, uh, so what are we doing? <laughs> Let's see from here. Let's find out. Let's find out. Pardon me. God, I'll be up. Remain vigilant. That was easy. This place may look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why the hate, man? Hate super mutants so much. They're responsible for the yes. death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the Maybe upper hand? Maybe restore they order and, repeated. and maybe the end of you know, a robotic overlords. Will be awesome, Look, you know, right? I don't mean to bore you <laughs> with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Enough, Enough preaching. Enough preaching already. I get it. Hmm. Uh, and judging from the corpses around here, you don't appear to need much in the way of motivation. Nope, anyway, I'm pretty much a badass. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. All right. Uh, so I think before I go up and talk with Elder Maxon, I want to let's see how do we get out of here. Um, I want to go talk to the Minutemen, and I want to level up. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do the armor so we can get oh. Level 39? Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, so let's do the scrounger. More ammo? Yes.
All right, so ammo, yes. Oops, not here. Uh, tab. <coughs> so I think we'll go talk to the Minutemen. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. All right, thanks, man. Now, do I need to... Oh, great. Well, I'm in my freaking suit. I'm not... Not too worried. Okay, I can go to the airport, or I can go... Let's go talk... Let's go talk to uh, What's-His-Nugget. Oh, I should probably also check out the castle and see how that raid was. So I wasn't here to see it. Alright. You can move the armor at some point as well. Alright, where is... Talk to the Minutemans. There he is. I suppose I could do it without even talking to anybody. Oh, you're... What? I totally what didn't you see you there, Garvey. Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my baby. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? It gets me inside the Institute. That's all that matters. Okay, General. If you think it will really work, then you should see if Sturgis can make heads or tails of those plans. All right, let's talk to... Where is, where is Sturgy? Sturgy! Are you sleeping? Life still ain't perfect. But we're surviving. Uh, you're outside. Okay. Maybe I don't even need to use the uh, brother. Maybe I can just go and kill them all. Dude, come here and talk Most to me. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Preston thought you might be able to figure out oh, these plans. Geez. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Do you think you can build this? Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? I got this from someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah. I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Okay. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. All right. Um, I guess we'll build it here. Uh, I got this pad sitting next to here. Um, maybe that's big enough, and I've got the generator there, and I can put another generator in. Easy enough. 
So how does this build the reflector platform? All right, so how do we <coughs> stabilize reflector platform? Yep, there it is. Um, okay. Build it before you even got like 10 feet. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. There's a giant metal pizza sitting on the ground now, so yeah. I was just asking. No <laughs> need for the snide remarks. Why not? I think I got the rest of this contraption figured out. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. Oh, I well, think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building stuff. side and see if we can actually make this thing work. <laughs> Hey, okay. Uh, I know I haven't Thanks, Sturgis. My weight around here. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're yeah. building this, okay. it all needs to be Thanks. wired together so all the pieces Thanks can talk to each other. Me. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Okay, so I guess we'll see what else I can build right now. I mean, I've got a ton of parts. I moved most of the scrap from here uh, down to the castle already, but there might be, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Okay, so we need a control console. We need the nuclear beam emitter. We need the relay dish. And then we need the, oh. So we have, we had all the stuff. All right, so I've got power. Requires 20. Okay, so we need another. <coughs> now, it's one thing I don't know if we have enough for another another generator or not. Yeah, I'll store that. No, I said store it. Okay, so we need a generator. That produces, oh, we can actually build two of them. And that's all the power we need. No. Okay, power 33. We need more power. More power. Yes. Ah. Giant scary light beam thing. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Um, shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. All right, we're ready. <coughs> sure, okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. 
Boy, the Elder Braxton is going to be so surprised. Just get on the platform. All right, let's uh, do a full save. I'll do the rest. Okay. okay. Hold <laughs> real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't way, either. I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. <laughs> Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. Woo. Now, we don't have much time left in the episode, so let's we'll kind of take a look around. And then once we are... Once we're kind of, like, ready, we'll uh, pause and start the next... Oh, I should have got some freaking ammo. Oh, well. All right, we are in the Institute. Oh, great. The usual. All right, let's do just the... All right, let's try it again. Ah. Uh. Oh, we need to load the holotape, too. Err, wow. We're having serious issues today. Uh, we need the... Network scanner, I guess. Sweet. All right, friends. Well, that's what we're going to do. I am having some issues, as you can tell. Ah, uh, yes. So I'll fix that problem. And when we come back, we're going to do the whole Institute, kill everything that stands in our way, and generally lay waste to the place. Because you know what? They took our kid, and hopefully we'll find him here. So for now, it's been Wrong with the Bold. If you guys are enjoying it, click that like button, leave me a comment, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma, and I will see you later. Bye bye